Now, amid mounting criticism against the CIA for its torture after the 9-11 attack, the CIA chief has come out to defend his agency. For more on this and a look at other global headlines, we turn to our Eunice Kim at the News Center. So, Eunice, this is an extremely rare move by the CIA director. John Brennan said he recognized mistakes were made, but he didn't make any apologies at all for the very uh, brutal techniques that came to light just this week out of that uh, Senate report. That's right, Mark. He did not call it torture, even as he recognized some tactics were beyond authorization. He also remained vague on whether or not he believed there was any unique and significant intelligence gathered as a result. Our Connie Lee has more. The director of the CIA defended his agency in a rare TV press conference on Thursday. The detention and interrogation program produced useful intelligence that helped the United States thwart attack plans, capture terrorists, and save lives. According to John Brennan, that includes useful information that led to the death of Osama bin Laden. However, on the question of whether some of that information was obtained without the use of brutal torture sessions or enhanced interrogation techniques, otherwise known as EITs, Brennan said that was unknowable. Let me be clear. We have not concluded that it was the use of EITs within that program that allowed us to obtain useful information from detainees subjected to them. The director's statements come just two days after the U.S. Senate released a report that said the CIA acted more brutally in its torture techniques of detainees after the 9-11 attacks than it previously acknowledged. Some of the brutal methods described in the report were waterboarding, severe beatings, and a method that led to one detainee to freeze to death. Although the CIA chief said the majority of his agents followed legal advice, he did admit that some actions were not authorized. In a limited number of cases, agency officers used interrogation techniques that had not been authorized, were abhorrent, and rightly should be repudiated by all. One U.S. lawmaker has called for Brennan to quit, while the United Nations and human rights groups are asking for the prosecution of U.S. officials involved in the CIA program from 2001 to 2007. Connie Lee, Arirang News.